forgot to take it off of like the metronome. <laughs> I was like, I was like, like, wait, it's still going. <laughs> 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 just <laughs> just <laughs> ride the wave. <laughs> I was waiting for the bass to drop. All right. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Woo! It is Wednesday, the third of March. In some year, in some decade. March had the audacity to come back. Like, what did last year? <laughs> All right. So, hey, y'all, this is Amok. Madam Hexa. And Caitlin Case. And this is Trouble Comes in Threes. This podcast discusses scandalous topics like communication, sexual health, BDSM, and more. If you're under 18, please visit scarletteen.com. Sorry, the rest of my crew just, <laughs> like, made lewd gestures about going away. Sorry. Uh... No, we're keeping that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, if you are over 18 or your legal age of consent in your country, uh, stick around, grab a toy, and let's get puppy. Puppy. Yeah. I was like, how's she going to spin this one today? Let's get puppy. That's always really fun. Yeah. It, it's so fitting because tonight we have DJ Pup here with us. To kind of tell us a little bit more about themselves and being kind of a female pup in the pup community. So if you want to give us a little bio about you and your background in entering. Oh, um, well, it's been about seven years now that I've been a puppy, an out puppy. An out puppy. Out, of, out, of, out of the doghouse. Out, out of the doghouse. <laughs> Um, if dog houses had closets, mm. you found the way out. Yeah. I found the way out, and it was it was a fantastic coming out. Um, it was at Florida Leather and Fetish Pride. Oh, rest in peace. Yes, oh. yes, it was a fantastic event, and got very drunk and let all of the inhibitions out and to talk. Perfect, perfect, perfect. fantastic <laughs> moment. And, and puppy happened. Oh, oh, Flamingo. Yeah, oh, yeah. How we miss you. I miss you, girl. <laughs> the wonderful other gays that were there. Cheers. Cheers. And your rum buckets. Oh, oh. I never got one. How is that even possible? She wasn't old enough yet. Oh, no. Oh, that's I right. was, I, the one time I tried to get it, it was, I tried getting it on a Friday, and they only did it on Saturdays. So, Pup Akis and I both were out of a rum bucket. Trouble. Mm-hmm. Trouble, trouble, trouble. But, yeah. Anyways. So, and I think that was... That was the year, one of the years that Florida Puppy was also being held there yep. that same year. Yeah. So that was the that was the weekend that me and you really started hanging out for the first yeah. time. Mm-hmm. Everyone but I you. didn't know I was going to be a Apparently neither of you knew <laughs> that either of you were going to be No. <laughs> That's fair. No. No. What, what a journey that you've been on together, like it's, inadvertently, it's, like yeah. this parallel. Yeah, it's been That's also been where, crazy. like, I met uh, Pup Otter... And Master Shadow. Oh, was oh, it? Yeah. Because they actually founded Florida Puppy. Right, I knew that. Mm-hmm. I just didn't know that was that was the moment. that was the weekend. Oh, how lovely. Yeah. It was yeah. definitely meant to be then. Yeah. Yeah. Actually, Pup Otter licked my cheek that afternoon and that <laughs> night. Oh, puppy it's happened. Contagious. Puppy's contagious. He's it's notorious. obviously contagious. <laughs> <laughs> no, so he's like he will lick people. Mm-hmm. And then be like, like if he licks cat, he'd go, well, one, he'd laugh because she hates being licked. And right. two, she'd be like, oh, okay, oh, no, cat, cat. Yeah, oh, you're you're, like, not, a, you're not a puppy. It doesn't taste right. right. You're not a puppy. Like, yeah. And that's how he tells if people are a puppy. One right. of his many methods is he to lick you right up the cheek. Like a soothsayer, but like so puppies. S- yep, you're a puppy. <laughs> puppy no, you're not a, a puppy. Is it like a lick, lick, a lick, a lick, lick sayer? A <laughs> <laughs> I guess. Yeah. We'll add it to yeah. his resume. So prior to like exactly. coming out as a puppy, had you had experience in pet play before then I, on either um, side of the slash? Or was it just not, something you just kind of saw? Not personally, okay. just stuff that I had seen at events. Mm-hmm. Um, always loved it. I loved puppies. I thought they were fantastic, right. but I'd never had any like personal experience. <laughs> right. Yeah. Like, like I, I wanted to play with them and pet them and, right. you know, it was ex- mm-hmm. exactly, it was so much fun. Um, but I had not had anything personal. Oh. That's why I couldn't do it in, in, in Germany because it's very much more like a punishment and it's very much the degradation focused pup, puppy play pet play in general. But I was like I don't it's want a to punish head but I'm not literally <laughs> supposed to ignore you and <laughs> drop my cigarette butt on you. Like, I'm not supposed to oh. you. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, I do enjoy that experience much more here where I'm like does puppy want to scratch it? <laughs> yes. Oh, oh the butt looks over the table. Yes. Careful you're going to send the butt over the edge. <laughs> 
promise to attempt to stay human. Human. You know, my sister does this butt wiggle too when she's excited about it. She's like, guess what, guess what, guess what, guess what. Exactly. I'm like, mm, just, no. Oh, she definitely Tell me. Oh, well, she we definitely. know about your sister, oh, so. Yeah. And I'm like, tell me more. And she's, she was like, she says it in the vanilla and she's like, oh, I'm like a puppy. I can't be home. I get bored all day and I just need my person and I miss my husband. And is he coming home yet? <laughs> yep. That's very much so her. She'll, he'll go off to work and she's working from home. So she'll call me like, you want to get lunch? And I was like, he's only been gone an hour and a half. <laughs> <laughs> she's like, but I know I need and you. He's never coming home for me. <laughs> yeah. Uh-huh. So you had experience with the lifestyle before oh, yes. coming out as puppy. Yes. Yes. I have been lifestyle for six 17, almost 18 years now. Nice. So, yeah, on on both sides of the slash. Um, but, yeah, puppy didn't happen until about seven years ago. Tell us a little more about that intricate history. Which intricate history? The rest the, of the 18 years. years. The rest of the 18 years. <laughs> so we know what happened in that one month, year. So we have, we have, one we month. have, we have the puppy moment as a, as a ticker here, but we have now, like, you know, the before and almost the a decade before yeah. then of a little, like, get to know you, and then maybe, you know, we might hear some things that you say, we're like, oh, that could have been a sign. <laughs> oh, that could have been a sign, and maybe we'll have, like... Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. Hindsight like 2020. Like, oh, <laughs> Are we changing that expression? I think we should. <laughs> we need it to. It means something totally different now. Hindsight 2008? I don't know. <laughs> yeah. No, because that was a bad year, too. All years are bad years. <laughs> you think hey, 83 that? was good. I wouldn't know. Aww. I missed all the good years. <laughs> you wouldn't know if 93 was good either, wouldn't you? No. No. Ah! <laughs> back, back to the pop please. <laughs> <laughs> real... <laughs> And this is less sober. Yeah. Mm-hmm. The night's just going to get better, y'all. Oh, <laughs> cheers to that. <laughs> All right. Goodness. So back to you. Ignore oh, us. okay. So uh, 18 years. Um, yeah, so I found a lifestyle online when I was 16. Ooh. Right? Just kind of. Family computer in the kitchen. Exactly. <laughs> Getting in, like, you know, okay, I'm going to sneak out of my room, go on the computer in the dining room. and 15 minutes to load an image. Exactly. Oh, you know, back, it was dial up and it was a whole thing, right? Like, shut up. Right. <laughs> exactly. Somebody picks up the phone and you're like right at oh, the top no. of the areola and you're like, so close! <laughs> no! We don't want to refresh it. It's oh. so sad. Yes, good times. Um, yeah, so found lifestyle online and then met people in different chat rooms and different people locally. And then when I turned 18, went and went to the parties and the classes yes. and everything that I could find. And it was like a whole new world just kind of opened up. It was fantastic. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> Our Disney oh. moment for the night. It was lovely. And yeah, so ended up meeting quite a few different people. And started submissive because that's what you're supposed to do. Mm-hmm. Uh, yes. right. Got it. Check that's how you're the su- That's how you're supposed to do it. I did the thing, right? I did right. right. <laughs> and uh, liked it. Didn't like it. Kind of kept going back and forth. That's fair. Right. Uh, relationships started and ended and. So it's like, okay, well, I'm done being submissive now. I don't like this. <laughs> right. I'm going to try something new. Right? <laughs> I'm do something new. <laughs> and uh, so tried the, the dominant side of the slash. Liked it. Didn't like it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. so would you identify yourself more as like a switch then, like true um, to nature? Or is it really just totally different? No, so I'm, I'm very much submissive. Um, but I definitely have my dominant side mm-hmm. and my sadistic side, and I definitely like to top on occasion and have fun with that. Nothing wrong with service topping. Mm-hmm. Right. Mm-hmm. You know, I, I definitely enjoy it. I feel like it. everyone's a sadist at heart, and if you're not, you're lying. Yeah. And the best sadists are actually masochists. Yeah. Because yeah. you understand it. Mm-hmm. Right. Because we're like, oh, well, try this thing, try this thing. And, and all like, the dominants are like, Tell me how did you think of that? And all that I already did like, it to myself. Oh, stop. Right. Good, I only enjoy pain if I inflict it on myself. <laughs> <laughs> Someone else says I don't punch you in the fucking mouth. <laughs> right. But if I did it, it's like oh, oh, that was interesting. That's so good. <laughs> I wonder if I did that again. <laughs> you develop a pattern for it. So it was, it was a lot of back and forth for a while until I finally just decided that okay, no, stop lying. <laughs> stop lying. You're submissive. But you do still like these things. Yeah, yeah. you can. Well, and I Absolutely. think that there's a lot of pressure on submissives to be, like, the submissivest of submissives. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, yes. And, like, if you 
stand up for yourself Fight or assert boundaries or, or sass a little bit are a little sassy or are a little stubborn it's mm-hmm. like oh well, you're not you're not really I and it's like that. no i am I'm just also very alpha personality, and I need to, like, do the things. There's a difference between mm-hmm. submission and, like, being a doormat. Mm-hmm. You know just. what I mean? It really is. And if you are those things, it's not necessarily a bad thing. No. But not every submissive is going to have that Same just, flavor. like, oh, whatever your will is at any moment. Right. That's a flavor. Right. And everyone's got their own flavor. Oh, I do yeah. have a question for you, though. Oh, when coming to, like, kind of coming to terms with, like, yes, I feel my nature is of the submissive kind, did you find that being a butch lesbian was kind of, like, making that difficult for you? Like, yes. the way that other people perceived you? Yes, and still do. Still do. Still do. I mean, I guess Absolutely. I could see that. Um, there's, there's such a stereotype on, on butch or masculine lesbians that they have to be... You know the strong one and the ones wearing you know, the pants. Exactly. I'm, 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 I wear the pants. I mean, I do. I wear but, pants because I'm comfortable. Right. I, I, like <laughs> I like the pants. I like the pants. But um, so yeah, it's still a lot of people don't understand that I'm submissive. You can wear the pants. So. I'll just pull you around by the belt loop. How's that? Sounds good. Let's do it. <laughs> I'm in. <laughs> Did you ever thought you had your kind of you nervous. you uh, Did I nail it? you kind of stole it? So I was going to ask, but um, kind of feeding off of that, mm-hmm. do you feel like that also bled into possibly you know your hesitancy on the puppy community or being a woman? at large, being a woman and being like a lesbian in the puppy community? Is it possibly that like it took so long because you never really saw anyone else kind of doing it or? I, I don't know. Puppy just kind of snuck up on me. That's fair. It, it That's did, fair. It, it did. It did. It, it, it wasn't. Do. Yeah, it wasn't ever like, oh, I think I could be this, but I'm not. I'm just going to stay over here. It was really all in a weekend. Okay. And like. It I, was It was great watching the spark of <laughs> like twinkle, oh. twinkle in her eye watching it. Because like. There was the obstacle course and so oh, the puppy so obstacle. Are you an agility pup? I do all the puppy things. I do all the puppy things. <laughs> I do all the puppy things. Oh, okay. There was a whole, like... I feel like Spielzeug would be good at agility pup. Mm-hmm. There was a whole, like, day of different pup-related yeah. things throughout. Pup Otter Fine. had hidden all the squeaky toys. The squeaky toys. Something like 35 squeaky oh, toys got that's a lot. hid all around a lot of all throughout East Egg Hunt. <laughs> Yeah, they, it's a lot of squeaky. I was shocked he didn't pierce all of the squeakies because he hates, he it, hates squeakies. He hate but he actually left the squeakies in them. Mm. But yeah. watching He's a giver. her oh, yeah. like eyes sparkle, and not just because of the booze, like because yeah, no, it was like, was... oh, 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 oh. Like, this is, this is yeah. and like the like has it. Like, mm, 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 mm. can I do that? Am like, I allowed to right. do this? Yeah. But then all of a sudden, it was just. Boom, we're in. Sink or swim. Yeah. We're in. I had. It was cold that night. It. It was. It was definitely a very Florida day where it was like ninety-five degrees during the day <laughs> so and then fifty and then at night, oh, and you're freezing. Yeah. So I had my my Scooby Doo onesie on. That's adorable. Very appropriate. That, it was totally mm-hmm. appropriate, and it just kind of <laughs> happened. She's, That's she's like, she's like, this was not intended. Just it was not. I was just trying to be warm <laughs> <laughs> and fashionable. Right. Like, and time. then it just kind of happened. There were rum buckets involved, uh-huh. and There's rum buckets. Yeah. Right, sometimes jello you little, shots. Sometimes you need a little social lubricant. It, that's exactly yeah. what it was. And, and support from your peers. peers. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Like, this pack for me. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So we were not a pack at the time. Right. Right. But, yeah, like, we were, everybody who was there was like, do it. Do the thing. Do it. Do it. Yep. Go do it. You should do it. Like, mm-hmm. yeah. And it was just dove head in. Yay. And it so, just happened. Sometimes that's all you have to do is just jump right in. Yeah, that is a very male dominated space as mm-hmm. as, a, as a community. It's and it's also very much a uh, a gay male, oftentimes of a certain look, dominated space. For a long time, DJ Pup was the only female pup that I knew mm-hmm. anywhere near here. Mm-hmm. Um, she was one of the few people who actually knew that I thought I might be a puppy. That you were in the dog house closet. <laughs> that I was in the closet <laughs> in the dog house um, before, like the vast. I mean. Topher knew, like, instantly. He's like, duh. <laughs> but the rest of my world was not as, like, Mind aware. Mm-hmm. Um, but for the longest time, you were basically the only, like, female-bodied pup in the area. 
that yeah. I knew that I could talk to that I actually saw like do the thing interact literally. with anybody. Yeah. Um, even just presenting them yourself in your hood and interacting at the DJ in booth. Yeah. yes at the DJ booth or <laughs> but this was long before the DJ booth yeah. like <laughs> this was just like yeah around with your hood on like giving you scratches and um I have some awesome pictures of when we went to Cosmel when we were in the ruins oh my god and yes. the hood <laughs> yes. Yes. Um, those are great pictures <laughs> and I remember like I didn't have a hood at the time because I hadn't actually come out right I was like I think but I don't know wiggling my butt but, right like, you're like I'll right. stick with red panda for oh, now and I was like man I really like their hood <laughs> do you like the hood? Like, so yeah. much fun oh, we okay. did we had so we had so much fun that in our hoods at the ruins yeah. taking pictures <laughs> Like it was just, it, it was yeah. just really good memories. Yeah, yeah. it was, it was yeah. super fun. But outside of that, I only knew like one other woman. I knew of one, Pop Sheba. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I mean, currently, I still at least in the Florida at large community, like from North Florida to South Florida, I only know of three female pups that I identify as female. If you're if you're a woman pup. Please let us know where you're at. Yeah. Because we would love to hear your opinion right. on some of these things. Yeah. yeah. Um, and a lot of it was very intimidating because I know for myself, when I'm in, like, our male spaces, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. or predominantly male spaces, right. not everyone is super excited about having mm-hmm. a woman around. I was going to ask you like, if you have felt kind of like you were, or treated like you were an interloper yes. because oh, you're Oh, yeah. Yeah. The majority of the time, honestly. Yeah. yeah. Shame on you. Bad dog. Bad dog. <laughs> All of it. Um, yeah, the majority of the time. Yeah. There's not many times that you'll see me actually pop out in public. Yeah. That was my main question. Wear, it's like, have you pupped much since then? Yeah. I mean, you'll see me in my gear. Yeah. I'll have my tail on. I'll have my hood on. I'll probably have my harness on. Um, but I won't. I generally don't pop out in public. Gotcha. And it's for that reason, is it? Mostly yeah. for that reason. Yeah. The, ma- the majority of interactions that I've had with other puppies or other pup spaces mm-hmm. has not been has super not been open very me, welcoming makes me so yeah. sad but so. i mean like for me i have it and i was always never really sure i was like is it because i'm a kitty trying to play with you or is it because i'm a female trying to play it's with you it's a it's kind it's of the a, time it's probably because, because you're, you're a right and so like i don't want to fuck you but i do want to romp let's go like, right. Right. yeah like, i have right. no like, desire to stick my nose up your hoo ha, like, like like if you just want to do the play battle, the barky bark, sweep the toys together, like right. you know, if you don't want to like wrestle me because you don't want to touch a woman, I think oh. that's your prerogative. But like puppies can still play without right. being that body contact as well. Right. right. So and like there's, oh, I was just gonna say like for me, like I have a panther side, so it's like if I'm romping, romping. I'll romp rough with the puppies because I'll just go from kitty mode to panther mode and then I'll be tackling you too, so it's fine. Right, but again, that doesn't really help if they don't like want to be touched right. by a woman. Like, kind of right. Like. And I think also that the different interactions, like if it's not in a necessary, like a puppy mosh, mm-hmm. other puppies have been great. Okay. Mm-hmm. They are super friendly and huggy and, you know, playful. Mm-hmm. But when you get into a mosh, it seems to be very different. That's and so that's really when the male puppies don't really want huh. to interact. So, For our right. listeners' sake, what is a puppy mosh? Um, imagine a puppy playpen with puppies and toys, and squeaky toys and ropes and pillows. Imagine... A bio pup playpen filled with yeah. puppies, no, like actually. bio like puppies, puppies. Exactly. Exactly. Puppy. like a pack of yeah. puppies, probably eight to twelve weeks old. They're playing, they're romping you around. You guys have seen Animal Planet, I know. Right, I know. right. Um, all of that same activity, but, but adult solely humans. with adult, adult humans. Yeah. yeah, it's like puppy bowl human edition. <laughs> yes, right. Yeah, exactly. 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 With with better mat like sleepy with better, mats. Yeah. We should definitely do a puppy. Oh my gosh, we should do that. <laughs> I'm in. Yeah. Yes. Next Super Bowl. Up a little, a little, yes. little thing. Next next Super Bowl, we should have a puppy. Oh my gosh. <laughs> that would be awesome. It's team Ralph and Team Fluff. <laughs> yes. Choose your way. <laughs> with the kitty halftime show. Yes. yes. We'll do it in the grass. We'll make it safe. We'll, Perfect. We'll, we'll, we'll brush it. <laughs> um. Yeah, I know. My experience with the moshes is I know that part of it is I'm nervous to get in there. 
Mm-hmm. But I'm nervous to get in there. A lot of it because like I already feel very judged right. mm-hmm. about wanting to be a puppy. Right. Also being a girl. Mm-hmm. Also being in a dynamic with my guys. Like mm-hmm. people don't understand the fact that like they gay and you are not a man. I am queer, but I don't have a penis. So right. Then I need so to. like that already confuses people. And then right. you add in the fact that I identify as puppy. It gets weird. Yeah. And, like, I just avoided it for a long time because right. every time I, like, would get the puppy balls to go do it, <laughs> yes. I would get there and then, like, somebody would say something. And it might just be, like, one pup who says something to right. me, but I'm like, it's enough oh, this time. isn't a space for me. Right. It's enough to fuck It's an up. immediate break. Yeah. And once it's happened to you once, you're, you're gun shy every time then now, yeah? Yeah. Right. And then, like, in I think in our previous episode with Pup Acus, when we were talking about, like, pet play as a whole, like, you had even mentioned, like, you've been flat out told that you can't be a pup because you're a girl. Yep. So it's, like, things like that will stick with you. And it's hard because you, you're, like, if that one person doesn't represent the whole community, but it makes but you cautious you about trying it. Yeah. When I very, very first, like, decided, okay, this is going to be more than just a family joke. Mm-hmm. And, like, <laughs> right, right. No, like the family, really, ha, yeah, ha, no, ha. This is, this is for real now. The corgi's <laughs> wagging her butt. We're all joking about uh-huh. it. But, like, okay, right. we're going to let this outside of my comfort circle of, like, my family and a couple of individuals. Who you were close that with. That we're yeah. are really close with. Somebody who was actually in the family on a New Year's Eve one night. We're out, and we went up to the bar to get a drink Mm -hmm. and found out the bartender was a puppy, and, like, he was really new to it. And I was like, oh, that's so exciting. I'm a puppy, too. Right, right. And And the the person, you're like, I'm making a friend. Right, Right. yeah. It's so exciting. And I had, like, just come out of the doggy house club, so I'm like, hi. And they just looked at me, and they were like, you can't be a puppy. You're not a puppy. Mm. And I was like, here's my heart. Crunch, 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 on the crunch, floor. Crunch, crunch. Like, I like, I, I feel like I'm a pretty audacious person, but like, who says this kind of shit to people directly? Right. You can make whatever the fuck you want, but don't let it pass your teeth. I'm going to blame it on alcohol and mm. old people. That's and fair, alcohol. I guess, yeah. but it's still but inexcusable. Not. It sucks, but it's it, it, Right, but it's not fair. It's inexcusable no, it, it's, and it's wrong. It's not fair and it's wrong and believe what you want to believe. I understand that people will have different views and opinions and everything. But I'll tell you, I ran my ass back in the closet for yep. a little over a year mm-hmm. and like would again went back to the like ha 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 no no right. not doing the thing. Right. right. Like Right. That's what you thought. Oh, I was just gonna say that and like it causes a sore spot because even when you were starting to come back out as okay, I'm toying with the idea again, maybe. Um, there was we were at Kink Academy and a uh, little corgi butt in the pool as she uses her butt to propel her forward with a pool noodle. <laughs> like a little, and I was like, oh my god. Really I was like, look at the corgi butt. And you're just like, I'm not a puppy. And then corgi butt it away. <laughs> right. And, and I like, was okay. like, okay. and it's hard because it's like, I'm like, but you like, are. Did I have, and you're like, no, I'm not. You? Leave me alone. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, and yeah, then yeah. no, there was an orange cream soda in my future that day, and I really uh, wanted it. Yeah, that's what I was. That's Ready what I was for. bottling towards. I see. Waddle, waddle, waddle. <laughs> I was corgi waddling yeah. towards the cream orange Very cream soda. Very cute. Yeah, but um, similarly to kind of the not feeling like there's a place, mm-hmm. um, we both kind of follow a more or have been involved with families that follow a more kind of old-fashioned leather path and like leather uniform Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and yeah how does that work (laughs) so my leather uniform was white shirt blue pants which i think was yours as well um but then came the trouble if any of the breast holding uh, members of our audience will understand bras aren't cheap. Nope. And I actually asked my guys, I was like, um, so the whole white shirt thing, does it also need to be a white bra? Because I gotta go shopping. <laughs> I have very large breasts and, and also, trying to find anything I to don't fit them. look like a grandmother. No. Right. Right. 
Like, I don't and want... And white shirts are see-through. Oh, yeah. absolutely. It doesn't, really, it doesn't matter what kind of white shirt you get. It's see-through. 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 How did this happen to all of us? Right. How did, how did Big Titty Club end up in the t-shirt club? Right. I don't we, know. Why did we do this to ourselves? Right. Baby girl, too. Why did we do... Right. <laughs> I don't know. This would be like... If I was like an ironing board, I'd be like, yeah. Look at me my v-neck. Like, no. no. But, uh... Can't pull it off. Yeah, I messaged you. It was yeah. like, um... So, strange question. But... <laughs> What kind of bra do you <laughs> Because... She was your only resource. What else are you going to yeah. do? Like, yeah. Not only is she the only other female pup locally, besides right. Sheba Pup, right. or Pup Sheba, also the only one that follows a similar uniform that right. I do. And I'm like... What do you do? Right. Because Who I'm also so lost. Who large, has, yeah. Large, yeah. Substantial. Yeah. yeah. It's so, thing. Because I pulled all my stuff from you. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's absolutely a thing, and it's not easy no. to try and, and – it's, it's a simple uniform. You would think it was easy. Right. But it became, like, a whole thing because, like, my guys had to like, – they had no. What do they do? Right. There's there not, aren't a lot of females there's not, that – There's not a reference for it because everything's revolved around men. Yes. Right. Exactly. Like, and, I totally relate to that because I'm like mm. – yeah, I went braless in my white shirt days because I was like, fuck it. I was also in Germany, though, so who cares? <laughs> <laughs> but I'm like, fuck it. Oh, I go, I go braless often. Yeah, but yeah. occasionally I want them to stand at attention. Well, I have photos, right. like a formal photo. I don't want the nipple rings like, hello. Like, you know, it's, <laughs> different, it's a different kind of photo. Yeah. Right. Different photo. Yeah. I just don't want my boobs to blend in with my stomach and just become one blob of shape in photos because that's what happens in a white that's shirt no that's no, you know, that's especially just right. in white shirt they make is. like a parachute like yeah, yeah. It's just covered. Right. That's, my yeah. boobs just they're very large and i have a collagen disorder right, everything so just kind of okay. like bloop. i got you that's so fair. yeah i know i have unnaturally perky titties i know but <laughs> it was the thing and then yeah. since then people are like oh but how do you follow this like what is more traditionally mm-hmm. a male lifestyle? Yeah. And it confuses them that people who are who don't identify as male mm-hmm. can do the thing. Right. Yeah. And still be identified as a woman doing it. Right. That's the thing. And, and I, still and like for some still identify as femme doing it. Like for a monk and I. Yeah, yeah. Like absolutely, that's like I'm very fit. Leave me alone. I know the uniform's not flattering if you're like more femme inclined, but you know what? Just take the picture and then. And the thing is, is I think a V-neck goes a long way. A V-neck, yes. I was like, can I just have V-necks? Also, I'm really lucky. The guys do let me femme up my outfit, which at first, like, I literally didn't own a white shirt Mm -hmm. when when I first started. I I didn't own. I don't think I even wore a, had an, a white bra. Oh no, I didn't. That was the whole problem. Is I didn't own a white bra. Right. Yeah. I remember like, you telling me that. Yeah. I'm like, I don't know what to do. Right. Um. And trying to find a solid white bra is ridiculous. Especially right. One that doesn't Especially have, in large like, sizes. Right. Sure, the granny bras come in big sizes because for some reason. But, they do. but again, they're but hideous then. Yeah. And yeah. I don't want to spend money on something hideous. I'm sorry. Right. Yeah. Especially if I'm not probably going to take my clothes off because, right, let's right. face it, if y'all have met me, I'm probably going to end up at least topless. Right. If yep. not. Right. I have but, to say, though, back to you talking about the, um, you know, being a woman in this more traditionally male-dominated world of leather. Um, I remember it was actually a T-Law meeting when I met you. I think we yeah. met yeah. for a T-Law meeting. Oh, yeah, we did. We, and there was, yeah. there was, we were having some <laughs> kind of discussion and it really struck me, you know, since you you are butch, when you made it very clear, you're like, I'm not a leather boy. I'm not B O Y. I'm not B O I. I'm a oh, leather girl. Yeah, because you do. Because I'm a woman, right? Because <laughs> you do see a lot of um, a lot more of butch, butch people. If you are butch, identify as the B O I boy. Yeah, and boy I was like, and yeah, yeah, and I was like. Which is totally, which is I totally fine. But love you know, me some boy dyke. Oh, yeah. absolutely! I have a few like favorite. And if you boys. call me a boy dyke, I'm totally fine with that. But because it, it kind of struck I look me. Like a boy dyke. It kind of struck me because I was like, you know, she's she's able to kind of have this confidence, and this is who I am, and I'm st- I still belong here. I can still be part of this community, and I think that's why it struck me. It wasn't like, oh yeah, you go girl because you're using girl and you shouldn't use boy. It was more of like she knows who she is, and I you're thought right. that was really fucking fantastic. I was like. Oh, golf clap in the corner like mm, yeah, yeah. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> eating my food <laughs> well cause like I'm not playing like when I and like first started learning about the leather community I thought because I was a female identified submissive wanting to know leather community that I would have to 
go in as a leather boy, B-O-I, because that's just all I had ever seen mm-hmm. in leather. It's all I ever see in leather writings. It's all I ever see on, like, different, like, research articles, mm-hmm. like, about it. Like, that's all that was really represented. I never really saw the whole leather girl thing. Right. Yeah, same. I, I had never met another leather girl that did the actual leather lifestyle and uniform and everything if they didn't identify as a leather boy right and like even like even like recently i uh was asked to present the leather girl flag at a thing and someone looked at me they're like what flag are you presenting and i was like the leather girl flag they're like they're like wait we're showing one of those yeah "Yeah, asshole we are (laughs) don't you see that i was like i mean i'm not a huge fan of pink but i like what it stands for i like that we have a specific leather girl flag to go with the leather boy flag but i'm just like yeah. Note to the flag averse, <laughs> if that ever gets, like, redone, maybe something not pink would be amazing. Yeah. But, you know, yeah. I see what they were going for. Like, Leather Boy is the green, le- Leather Girl is the pink, because well, the Leather Flag's what, what are we? Blue, bro- but, oh, I guess, yeah. Well, because the Leather Flag itself so They could have done, like, so Baby Boy Blue. Right. <laughs> like, but, they got them green. That would be That's in a flag episode. Flag. Yeah, I guess the- so. We should do a whole episode on flags, and we'll get to all of that. But (laughs) that's going to have to be one we do with, like, Like, our faces involved, so we can, like, point to screen and be like, this is the whole alphabet mafia. Right? Yes. (laughs) And I can't keep up with it. I'm like, I don't know what any of these mean. What are you into? I don't know what what are you into, and do you want to fuck me? That's all I need to know, and then we can continue the conversation. Can we go back to using, can, like, the broader queer and kink community go back to using hankies? Because you have tons of options. I love me a good hanky coat. It's a great conversation starter. So, sorry, because we have two people that, well, three, but I don't know how big flagging was in Germany. They flagged a lot, but... Um, so if you look back in like leather history and the more like traditional leather pack, there are, first of all, there are multiple hanky codes, but there was distinctly a gay male hanky code and a leather lesbian leather hanky code. Yeah, leather dyke hanky code. That's California And so side. like, how were you kind of like introduced to those? Like if you flag, which one do you follow? Not, never introduced to them? Like, I'm just curious. I was never introduced to them until I moved out here to Florida. Okay. But that's really where... When I found the leather community, letting her borrow come into power, at, sure. As as opposed yeah. to just the kink community and the right. kink lifestyle and mm-hmm. stuff, that's generally just what I was in in general yeah. before then. Right. Um, and then I found leather out here in Florida. Oh, okay. and I know for me, I also was not like introduced to like the old school ones mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. until you know, in the last decade, we yeah. started using it more. Also, part of that is probably that I started going to more gay male events. Yeah, yeah. that's yeah. fair. You, you emulate right. what you see, though, as right. well. And, like, that, and, like, we have a, we have a very large, is Florida has a very large gay leather community, male gay leather community. I don't really see a lot of the community that gravitates towards the lesbian side. And so, for me, I didn't know that there was actually a lesbian or a leather dyke. Okay, I know. It's I not a bad word. No, it's but not. it's not a word I was ever exposed to, right, right, so right. I forget that it exists. Right, right. But, so, like, a leather that can be code until I read Coming to Power. Like, so, what yes. You know, I like the V. I'm not Speaking of leather dice. Should I keep some leather dice? So, <laughs> two things. Yeah. Um, our community here mm-hmm. is, there is much more interaction between our het pan and our gay community. Agreed. Male Agreed. gay community. Um, if you go back seven to ten years, there was not. Long, Since 2000. Long enough to see the transition. Yeah. And that was down. not a... Yeah. Uh, I've dated <laughs> like myself on my like appeal. four different episodes. <laughs> it's part of my appeal. <laughs> yeah. Somebody's got to be the MILF around here. I was just about to say, like, you're almost there. Almost. And you'd be like officially like hashtag MILF. <laughs> right? Yeah. Right. I might start dipping into that early. Um... I just em- I told y'all I embrace the crone. Do it. There's a whole market in Femdom. Like yes. there's young mistress and then you're nobody in your thirties. So I'm yeah. about to expire and then- <laughs> and then when I hit forty five I can be like milf time. <laughs> like a fine wine. I have now reached my peak. Yes. <laughs> Double the price. The other thing, so that's why it seems like we have a much bigger community here because the intercrossing. We have a lot of intercrossing and our community because I've been to. Arizona, Texas, Atlanta, 
I like how I did all of the others by state and then Atlanta <laughs> is, is not like, Georgia. Just, I don't claim all of Georgia, just Atlanta. I went to Florida. Florida. I, Florida Con. I did not go to the rest of Georgia. Right. <laughs> I've been to quite a few cons oh, in Atlanta, yeah, yeah. but yeah, it's a very like Atlanta is its own wonderful mm-hmm. world. Um, Boston. Apparently, I only give these coast cities their name. <laughs> That's fair. Um, Home turf, you know. Yeah. Oops. Uh, it's really different in all of those places. Different, like, different countries, too. I mean, we saw it when we went to New York. The three, yeah, yeah. We went to the, the oh. Trouble Comes in Three group last year. We went. To, I'm really mad that we missed the um, lesbian know. sex mafias party. Yeah, mm. me too. We were like leaving the day of the party, and I was like, "Fuck!" Yeah. <laughs> Twice now, I've been foiled. <laughs> but fuck, got us a sponsor and everything, and then we couldn't make it. <laughs> the second, the second night, or, or the second nose was. I have, it's very frustrating because I identified as pansexual. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I actually lean slightly more towards women, mm-hmm. but I keep <laughs> accidentally dating boys. Right? It's a problem. She's like, she's yeah. like, I love women, but occasionally I can go dicking. I just need to find women that have better dick collections, and then life would be great. Buying dick collections. However. And then you're set. Because you have Oh, I have, I have a dick but collection. But I'm saying, collect, but combine it with somebody, and then you're like, oh, the Perfect. world is my The whole library. Right? And you, what do, do not combine my libraries or my dicks, but I will loan them out for <laughs> in, someone in, to fuck in, in, in theory, not like literally, but like, you're like, oh, I have access to this one. It's like a public library. I have access to your dicks. I have access Which to is your great. Dicks. Except it for is. where the fuck are the kinky lesbians? They and don't or exist. Or they no, 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 stop. <laughs> where are the tops? That's right. the better question. Uh, I find being the bottom girls. <laughs> I right. find being a top. I just need to find kinky fucking lesbians <laughs> or bisexuals or pansexuals that have vaginas or vagina-like things. Or vaginas. They don't exist here. They really don't. And like that... Yeah. Yeah. Okay. If you are local and you are a vagina owner and as a vagina owner also identifying as a woman, where you at, girl? Right? Where and at, honestly, girl? I, I also really enjoy play and sex with people who are somewhere in the gender-bending, yeah. gender... That's not Non-conforming? Right gender non-conforming. There we go. Thank you. And she trans. Was, she's like, so like not bro. Right. Literally anything but bro. Anything but, but. bro. Anything now, but. I do really, really love me a, like, very masculine chick. So it's not just, like, the masculine portion. It's, like, literally like, penis-owning bro. Can they, can I, can you not be a frat boy? <laughs> that is the problem. Because <laughs> honestly. Yes. That's hard. Uh, <laughs> What's a frat boy ever? Always a frat boy. They never outgrow it. That's the thing. No. Our, <laughs> our shared sad story <laughs> was a frat boy. Actually, that was a really good story. Like, were you a frat boy? He was not a frat boy, no. no he did do a keg He did at a frat boy he party. He did. But he was a frat party. boy. But he was not a frat boy. <laughs> yeah, no. He was in the honor society. Yes. <laughs> the one before that, that was problematic. The penis before that, that uh-huh. was problematic. Also a frat boy. Yeah. Like, it's just... Mm. I, that's what it is. I'm sorry. I you're just like, sidetracked no. it. Yeah, you're like, a <laughs> movie. Like, um, we can edit this. No, but like, wow, this is important stuff. If you're a frat boy, do not apply. Yeah. Right. right. But start putting that on the penis If you have, where I you might have boy? been now, a sorority. Now, you're a sorority girl, though. So, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah, so that's sorority attractive. girls are like, you're like, hey, you're That like, just <laughs> means that I'll drink a lot and I'm down the party. That's fair. That's what I'm saying. There's nothing wrong with sorority That's what we're saying. I was a sorority president. You may still apply. For eternity boys, please don't speak to me. You don't, no. Yeah. You don't get to speak. Me. No. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. We can play sisters. I'm into that. <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh, yes. 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 I'm just having flashbacks to uh, Professor Marston and the Wonder Woman, the yes. variety girl scene. Oh, like, my heart. I'm like, I'm like, okay. I was like, oh, hey. I missed out in college, apparently. <laughs> right. Me too. Like, Damn it. I knew I should join a sorority. <laughs> no, you don't have the money to join a sorority. Right. I was like, oh, that's that money. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I think that kind of ties into like a really good thing, like. Which it's hard to, <laughs> but so before we went off in the fraternity okay. tangent, oh, yeah, yeah. Um, tying into it's really hard to find other like lesbian ah, identifying women in our local community. Because you just had kind of your, I say recent, but within the past the year, year, kind of an understanding of your own sexuality. Yeah, my compulsory. So you're looking for friends. My compulsory heterosexuality. So you're looking for friends. I am looking for friends. And it's hard because like, I know your baby girl has struggled with it too because she's Hardcore lesbian, always identified as lesbian. Hardcore lesbian. Yeah. Like <laughs> I was like, I can't, I was like, that's what made, but that, we joke, but that's what made me feel better about coming out as a, a lesbian. So I was like, I've literally fucked 
men sev- on several occasions consensually and like I'm like, and she's like, I say you can be a lesbian. It's like, okay, oh, then I well, might be a lesbian. She's the gold <laughs> star getting the staff. That's all it matters. Right? But it's hard because I feel like there is kind of that, like, when you get into, like, the lesbian community at large, there is kind of that, like, stigma around it. Like, mm-hmm. they have, like, be. the quote-unquote gold star lesbians, and yep. they think, some of them think that anyone else is invalid. Like, if you've ever considered least, a penis. Or at least yes. gross. Or at least yes. gross. <laughs> at least and then gross. they don't yes. want to be with you. Because I'm like, Oh, yeah. Uh, they'll, they'll absolutely that straight like, up be like, They no. won't be with bisexual women because mm-hmm. they're like, well, I... You, sorry, you leave me I for a man. Oh, because leaving I, you for a woman's better? Right. Like, also, right. the I mean, whole, yeah, like, but. I'm going to leave you for a man. No, motherfucker. I'm Polly. I didn't have it all. And right. you can too. Right. <laughs> I don't have to go anywhere to do the thing. Like, right. we have communication about those things. Right. Right. And yeah. so, like, for me, but, like, for me, that was hard because it's, like, you know, I don't really have, a, like, your baby girl was really kind of the first person I was, like, close-ish to. She'll fight anyone. She'll right. fight anyone. She'll fight anyone. Who yeah. I felt close enough to to be like, hey, so, uh, this thing and, uh, but is it, is it valid? Like, is it not allowed to call myself a lesbian? And it wasn't even like I approached her. It was she was here while I was having a heart to heart with you about it. And you're like, tell her. I'm like, can you just tell her? <laughs> right. Because she's not going to listen to me. But I, I, I'm not a lesbian. So my opinion is not valid. <laughs> well, that and because like I do, I do like, well, I do love a good butch. And like there have been times where I'm like, I really find that butch attractive. Mm, I, nice. Right? I'm like, hey, girl, hey. So. Uh, oh, God, no. I'm blushing. <laughs> Yeah, that dyke, it's a dyke smirk. It was like, mm, yeah, jeans. I didn't think you needed to tap on you. The eyebrow wiggle and the lip piercing always get me. I prefer um, eyebrow piercing that does it for me. Oh, I do love a good piercing. eyebrow piercing. I always wanted one. I was like, you know, I think it's just because I wanted to fuck somebody that had one. <laughs> you know, that's the thing, right? Have you ever, maybe, maybe you haven't had this experience um, um, seeing a feminine woman, but it's like, do I want to be her? Or be or with her? her? <laughs> like, do I want to, like, All what the is the, like, do I just like your yeah. style or do I like, you. Probably yeah. both. But like, <laughs> oh yeah. It's like it's a thing. <laughs> For me, I had an even harder time because a lot of like, if I did see like a lesbian couple in like the BDSM at large community, it was always a butch and a femme, and I was like, mm-hmm. well, I love a good butch. I always end up dating femme women and I don't see a lot of femme for femme mm-hmm. especially in like when you get into like the heavier power exchange community and the heavier like leather community you see it in a lot of like lesdom porn and professional right. stuff you see porn, porn or nothing like it just yeah. doesn't exist outside of right. that like yeah. and it's hard especially in the local community because there really aren't any lesbians in the local community that I know of there and there were like five but speaking of go girl right. power exchanges like not a lot of female pups we've discussed mm-hmm. are there a lot of lady handlers Mm. Or is it just nobody's really... I feel like there might be more handlers than there are puppies on the... Or you think... So, I've met a number, like, um, girlfriend. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. Girlfriend. Right. Yeah. yeah that, that's why <laughs> I've met them. Um, I will say that I found a group online, okay. which it took me many years to find it, but I did find a female... Handler and pup group. Okay. Um, is that the one we're a part of on Facebook? On Facebook, I think so. Yeah, that's mostly like mostly uh, just puppies showing their hoods, which it, is fine because I love their which hoods. Which is cute, right? It's a it's a lot of there's. I like the group because it is you get to see it's that representation, right? We yeah. and it's a really wide representation because it's Good. not just like. If you go to Instagram, oh the Insta pups, we talked and about that you, with Vegas, didn't we? <laughs> when you, if you look for like, if you find like a, you find a hashtag which doesn't exist for female pups, like trying to find one. A lady but pup. when you do occasionally get to it, they're very much like the same look. It's the same look, model esque, like this model put. We do it for, for the clicks, the which is cool. And if they're a pup outside of that, awesome too. Right. However, it's. I mean, it's the same if you look in repre- like broke community or like it's that representation. Lacking. Yeah. So a I will variety. say the Facebook group does have a very wide representation. Okay, that's nice. Um, and there's a lot of like really positive like people. Nobody's going in and being like, "Oh, well, your your hood's not right," or "This uh, is the well, only way you good. can do that thing." Like, it's a lot of like, "Oh, that's so great. Oh, yeah, you should do that. Oh, congratulations. Like, super yeah. cool." It's very Female. very positive and. Yeah, uplifting. Because you guys all feel kind of ostracized. You got to stick together real hard. Is that yeah, anything? yeah, yeah. That's true. I will say there's not a lot of discussion. No. Okay. okay. It, it's definitely like a boosting each other up 
and giving each other confidence boosts, but not necessarily having like active conversation, active about, conversations about some of the struggles or just about the interests yeah. and things like that. Yeah. Now, yeah. The, now going back to the point of um, not really popping in public. Um, if you had a handler with you, is that something that feel makes you more secure? It doesn't really change your opinion of pupping in public, like knowing that there's someone there that might be able to back you up, or that someone at least you can go hide behind their legs with, yeah. <laughs> or oh. that you can at least like play fetch with them one on one, as opposed to like, well, nobody wants to play with me in the marsh, so I guess I'll go home. For me, it's definitely uh, an ego boost. Uh huh. Um, I, I get a lot more confident, and I can slip into that headspace a lot easier. I gotcha. Because somebody else is interacting with me in that way that right. I trust. They can kind and of that like, I know. They can kind of like get yeah. you there and then send you off to try to play. Right. And if it, it doesn't work back, well, I'll just come take a nap here then. Right. right. <laughs> it's okay. Then I'll just come back and everything is fine. Yeah. Um, without that, it's much, much more difficult for me to get into into an actual puppy head space. Mm-hmm. I had romped a couple of times before I identified as puppy. Because mm-hmm. um, I do also, I have a primal side. I've seen you do body play, yeah. Yeah. I have, um, you know, kind of a, a rough primal side if you've ever seen a red panda mm-hmm. or a firefox. I have seen the rolling. It's fantastic. Yeah, It's basically me. If you yeah. see, like, the way they interact. <laughs> but also, just pounce they're it. like corgis of the panda world. They really mm-hmm. are. They really, really are. Like, facial markings and everything. Mm-hmm. Um, but then when I went down for uh, Pig Week in Fort Lauderdale, mm-hmm. we had gone to uh, one of, I think it was the ball. I don't know. Mm-hmm. Um, and the guys had left me unattended <laughs> because, well, they were enjoying themselves mm-hmm. over there. They were doing to do a Pig Week. Mm-hmm. Exactly. Uh, and there's not a lot of room for me to be a pig at Pig Week, unfortunately. Yeah. But I still like to go. Right. So um, and there was a... <laughs> right? You're like... Yes. You're like, uh, it's okay, I'll handle but myself, not in, don't worry. But not in the creepy way. Like, no, no, I'm, I'm, I'm a terrible warrior. It's fantastic. <laughs> but we also had... There was a, a pup rock going on, or pup mosh, and uh, pup pilot and girlfriend were down as well. Mm-hmm. And nice. they were kind of... They had stepped in to manage... The mosh? Yeah. Okay. Because the people who As were, people were like, disappeared. Oh. Yeah. It was unsupervised. Yes. Hey, it was, there was not a lot of supervision. That's fair. I mean, so, I, I don't those, know. Those moshes can get a little ruckusy. The, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, especially when it's in the middle of all of those people. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. Um, yeah. 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 Like bowling bowls. Yeah, pretty much. Um, and for some reason, I got a wild hair up in my ass. And I know what, well, I know the reason. Uh. I was five hours away from where we live. Mm-hmm. The vast majority of these humans are A, too shit-faced to remember what's going on right now. True. B, uh, too focused on the dick mm-hmm. that is happening around us right now. Or C... I never have to see you again. So. Exactly. I don't yep. have to see you again. So, um... So suck my girl dick. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and uh, mm-hmm. talk about being a femme mm-hmm. girl. Uh, it was Hi, a, guys! Hey. It was a formal event, and I was in a white dress. Hi! There you go. I, With, I had my the like white skater girl dress that I yeah. had, and my black harness, yeah. and like black panties. Yeah. And that was like, I was like, all right, we're doing this. I'm in now, guys. <laughs> um, you don't and like I felt it? safe because like, Girlfriend and Pilot were there. Right. I had, like, a pup, one of the other few pups that I had really had Mm -hmm. in-depth conversations Mm -hmm. with prior to. Um, And then Girlfriend was the one that was kind of playing with the ball and Mm -hmm. things. And I will tell you, it was the very first time that the pups on the mat, when I was, like, on the edge getting, like, starting to get in my head and being like, maybe I won't do this. Maybe I don't want to go. They both turned around and were like, oh, hi, let's go. Are who are you? And then like rolled New the frame. They invite, like, yeah, it yeah, was, oh, awesome. let's the have the space together. Yeah. And then it wasn't just like, okay, I'm going to come on your mat in your space. Mm-hmm. This is our mat and I'm coming now. Well, yeah. Like, oh, and like, we're going to play ball together. And yeah. it, was, it was awesome. But that's the, that's the one and only time I felt that. Right. Outside of Critter Camp. I got Right. You. So, sorry. I have two things. One of the time in line. So like, as... Our white audience knows I'm not a puppy. Mm-hmm. I am a kitty cat. Um, and I had tried a few times before really knowing anyone in the critter community to kind of get in and try romping. Um, the Phoenix Club used to hold critter nights. And when mm-hmm. they the first critter night they ever held, 
I went because I was like, because they advertise, they're like, critter night, not just puppies, any critter you identify as. Speaking of which, we still haven't heard from the land shark, and uh, we kind of yeah. really want to hear yeah, from if you're the, the land local shark, shark. If you're the local please shark, please let us know. From the Pet Boy episode, can you please? We were, really, we were really hoping for it, but uh, sorry, sidetracked. Um, and so I was I'm like, cool. Shark. Pop right? Acus gets on that. Yes, <laughs> come on, help us. Um, and so, like, you know, I went in. It was okay enough. There was a monkey there that I played with. And they were really accepting because they were also a non-puppy critter. But the puppies kind of kept to themselves. Um, I, there wasn't really any female identifying pups. There were non-binary and then, like, gay male pups. So, you know, that's fine. But, like, I started to kind of play with one. And, like, they tossed their toys to, like, I, out of range. So, like, I batted it back. And then they're like, well, I'm not touching that toy anymore. I was like, meh. Mm. And so I really didn't go again until because my thing is I didn't have a handler especially when I first started exploring my kitty my kitty comes out more when I am a single individual than when I'm in a power exchange um it's just kind of how it goes it's kind of almost like my coping mechanism for myself but not like the kitty-esque stays but like the romping and like the hardcore like I am kitty is oh I've seen it though yeah yes. <laughs> I, you say that but we live together. Yeah. Um, we'll I disagree. With, we'll go with unsupervised. <laughs> She's like, unsupervised. I, I, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, I can't leave a box out. Like. <laughs> but, um, and so, you know, I never really, like, really went, like, I went to the romps, but I didn't get down in romp um, until Pup Acus and I actually became very, very close after he got the uh, Florida Critter title. And, um... The next time that I ever ro- really romped was we went back to Kurt and I, and he went with me. And it was, I say it was funny. I guess in a sense it's sad, but also in a sense it's kind of heartwarming because it was opening up. But So he would play with me because he had asked. He's like, you know, you're a kitty. Don't scratch my nose. Yeah, that's rude. And that's what Mam says too. She's like, you can you can, uh, you can, can romp, but don't scratch the puppies. can't scratch puppies. You, you have to be nice. Yeah. I was like, that's fine. Um, but... So yeah. Pop Acus, yeah. <laughs> boop, boop, you can boop boop, but no scratch, yeah. scratch, no claws. Um, but Pop Acus got down on the mats and started playing because he's like, like, do you just want sniffs? Do you just want to play with the toy? Do you want like rough body play? How like, do I play with you? Right, because he's right. like, I'm not really sure how to play with kitty. He's like, but I want to try. Mm-hmm. It's like cool. And so it was interacting with him that actually the same group that walked away from the toy I batted started to play with me at that romp. And so part of it was like, Puppy maybe they just didn't do. know how to like interact with me but at the same time it's like I felt a lot safer having that person who I'm like well at least this one person in this group of you know like five to ten people will play with me and so that makes it worth it for me and then when I'm done I just go lay under one of the tables that they set up for me because they're like we have a kitty coming we need to put a table so I just go to the great work check out right. exactly mm-hmm. Mm, I don't know. I had a second snoot and it went bloop. Does our guest have any questions for us? Oh. Oh. Ah. Well, you didn't prepare me for that. Ah, you did. Well, <laughs> oh, you're really prepared for this. Because I feel like we didn't prepare you for this. I just sent you some topics. We were just like, come talk about yes. <laughs> yeah. And she's like, okay. Uh? Well, what is, what has been your guys' experience with the local puppy community? I mean, aside from you, we've been talking about our Ours, experiences, yeah. right? As but y'all too. Pu- as puppies. Um, but, like, with the local puppies, there's not, I don't see... There's not many of us well, locally. That I know of, like, yeah, I know of, like, a small handful of puppies, and I've watched them interact, but I've never really interacted with them. Like, even after I got comfortable romping, and even after, like, the local critter community opened up a bit more, even at the past shenanigans, you know, my ex sir was a puppy, um, and he got down and he started playing with other puppies, but I was like, no, I can't. I can't play with them. That floor was really hard there. It's probably better for your knees. <laughs> Honestly, <laughs> probably. Like, as Save someone who's been on my knees on that floor. <laughs> right. You saved yourself at least. Oh, so. <laughs> you don't want to do that. Yeah. Yeah. Knee pads are a thing. Yeah, yeah. I don't yeah, yeah. Um, But yeah, no, other than that, I mean, like, I'll play with the puppies. I enjoy playing with puppies. Like, I'll play fetch and I'll play tug of war with the puppies um, as, like, my the human home. persona. The human. The boy. human. Um, not the kitty. Because I... Guess I'm a little bit more approachable as the human, but uh, other than that, like it's I mean, there's you really steal the toys if you're a kitty. Mm-hmm. That's true. I do like to herd to like herd toys. Them. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I mean, I just lay on them, and the puppies can't get them, and it's great fun. <laughs> I also like to please the mask kids to me because then they start pouncing on me. I was like, right, oh, this that's, works. That's what I'm thinking. Oh, no, I'm no, thinking don't pummel me. Don't, 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 don't pounce, pounce on you. Don't stop me. Oh no. Don't manhandle me or pup handle me out of 
my pad away. Away. Watch, <laughs> watch me get that toy. <laughs> I promise you. But other than that, like, no, like, I really haven't had a lot of experience. You know, I've never gotten to go to, like, Florida Puppy or any of, like, the super pup-inclusive spaces or, like, Critter Camp or anything like that. The only experiences I've had have been, like, the Phoenix Club Critter Night once they started doing those. And then the very small critter romp that was at Shenanigans. Was on Peace. No. I have a question oh, for you. Oh, wow. Oh, oh. Huh. The table. I have, found how the one. turns have tabled. So, uh, drink more champagne. It, <laughs> it came up with uh, the knee pads thing. Mm. Where do you find gear that mm. fits our body type? Mm-hmm. It's not easy. Mm. Sounds um, like a custom job. It's not easy. Knee pads, especially. Um, I use volleyball knee pads. Mm-hmm. Oh, that's why I told him yeah. to get too. Mm-hmm. Um, because they don't have the, generally they're just like the, the long like tube. Mm-hmm. So you can just pull them up and they just generally stay mm-hmm. as opposed to expensive. a lot of, yeah. yeah oppo- as opposed to like a lot of the other knee pads that have like the Velcro that wrap around. Yeah. I don't like those cause they kind of cut off circulation. They do. They you don't find off. that yeah, the, like them at all. the volleyball styles like cut off or roll? Um, the ones that I have found don't, but I also get like the extra long ones. So they come like up above my knee, and then okay, down like whole leg one for your short little legs. <laughs> right. <laughs> I kind of would be. I kind of would be. I mean, but, really adorable, but... <laughs> right. But I found with, with regular size knee pads, they were too small mm-hmm. um, for, like, just not enough protection over the knee mm-hmm. when you're actually, like, crawling around mm-hmm. on the floor. Yeah. Um, so I definitely needed the ones that had a little bit more length. Um, to protect more of more of the whole knee area, so yeah, volleyball are the ones that I have found that have been the best. But it just kind of depends. I have like four different types of knee pads, <laughs> just depending on what I'm feeling. Right, yeah. exactly. Well, you probably don't want something with like super soft finish if you're going to be going out to something that's going to be on like a pool deck. Yeah, right. Right. you want like exactly. a, the knock time, you know. Yeah. Um, yeah. What about other gear? Um, so for my paws, I actually use MMA gloves. Hmm. Um, they actually have on the palm side, they have a wrapped, um, metal piece ah, okay. to kind of grip okay. so, so that nice. I can, Knuckle, yeah, so I can go here. Um, but they're also very comfortable and my fingers are loose so I can still pick up things. That's, That's nice. nice. Yes. They're You're like, very I am nice. a puppy, but I have opposable thumbs. Right. But I need to be able to. <laughs> Yeah. Right, I need to be able to hold my drink or my snack. Yeah. Or Water Especially if you're unsupervised. If exactly. you don't have a handler to hold your shit, yeah. you've got to have that. In, in, the Actually, la- in, in the last DS relationship I was in, I was also service submissive as well, mm-hmm. but I would still wear my gear. So mm-hmm. there was a lot of times I needed to be able to go get something and bring it back yeah, for them or, or whatever. That. So. But that's actually a really good point because a lot of, especially if you see like a lot of the Insta pups, they have the, the kind of gloves that take away your like opposable gloves, gloves. Like, like the boxing gloves almost. And so that can be hard if you're at a romp and you're not with a handler to get yourself the water you need. Now, I do know a lot of pups who prefer the the Mitt. mitts that yeah. are more... Um, like have the cute little paw on them. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I love them. They're so cute. They're so cute. <laughs> they're really but cute. that are more... They cover your whole hand mm-hmm. and so you don't have access to your fingers right. because it helps them with their head space. Sure, yeah. Absolutely. Um, I know for me... Finding not just a hood Mm -hmm. because, like, the neoprene hood that a lot of people see that's like a full Mm -hmm. classic kind of look. I love it. I like the way it feels. However, I have really long hair, Mm -hmm. and trying to gather it all up and get Uh it into the hood, it was either like falling into my eyes and smushed Mm -hmm. down because hood. Yeah. Or would give me a like a headache, headache. because yeah, of the way it was pulling on yeah on my scalp. the scalp yeah, for sure. um so i ended up finding one that had a more open structure to the back of it super comfortable i don't i can't i bought it during covid so i haven't really taken it i haven't anywhere. taken it for, good for its first but one, you know? um i love it it's so pretty it is yeah, prepared. I mean, it is so nice. yeah they're great and it's like my headspace like I can slide it on and like it's just instantly mm-hmm. like a, a calmer yeah. Yeah. puppy. Both right? of my hoods are, are both open open bow, kinda like the harness mm-hmm. yeah. um type of 
kind of backing, and it's also more breathable. Yes, because mm-hmm. what is hot? Right, they're very yeah. hot. That was one of the things that prevented my slave originally from embracing his pup side because he felt very trapped in the full hood. Mm-hmm. And, and some people like that cozy feel, but everything echoed. <coughs> he was not, mm-hmm. and he's not really claustrophobic, but he was like that was right. a it's terrible a very, yeah. experience for me. Yeah, yeah, it's definitely. I enjoy the full hoods yeah. like, for very short periods of time, mm-hmm. right. or like I wore it when I was here. Yeah, right. But we were in an air conditioned space. Right. I could take it off in between, mm-hmm. like when At I needed time. to breathe. Like, yeah. Right. Right. Um, but I also know that there are a lot of people who prefer that kind because it does really shift your perception yeah. of oh, everything. Absolutely. Like, absolutely. I love the oh. look. I love the look. Yeah. Oh, yeah. He, he nice. finally settled on one that's more open back, like yeah. the ones that you I, guys I have. love my closed one. I have one of the neoprene ones as well. Um, I love it, but. A lot of the leather um, meetups and stuff mm-hmm. that we would go to are usually outdoors. Side. And mm-hmm. it is too dim. And yeah. it is so hot. Yeah. So even in my leather ones that are open, it's still very, very <coughs> hot. But I would much rather be wearing those than something that's so cool. a yeah. full hood. Yeah. It yeah. was because, uh, like, um, my ex, he, he started identifying his and He got one of the closest ones. And for the local community, if it's not outside... It's generally in a very loud, crowded bar. And so he had the problem that it does echo, kind mm-hmm. of like your boy had the problem. With, like, it does echo, and it makes everything louder. And for him, he couldn't handle that sound. So he felt bad because he's like, I want I want to be puppy, but also, like, it's wigging me out. Yeah. Um, and Amok kind of touched on it a little bit about, you know, it's kind of that instant calm and headspace. Have you found with your pup gear, because I know you say you don't romp a lot, but you do wear your gear out in public. Yeah. Do you find that that helps almost kind of like, not necessarily a security blanket, but it Centre gives you, it centers centers you, a, little you a little bit? Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it, it absolutely does. Um, and it definitely helps to get me into the headspace as well. Mm-hmm. But, like, I always, I'm always puppy. Like, right. I always have, my yeah. puppy side is always just right there. Yeah. Um, I can walk into Petco and hear somebody squeaking a toy. Yeah. I'm like, oh, my God, it's the, what? <laughs> Entire episode, and I'll be like, no, no. Masochism right. is taking your puppy self to the store to get pu- things for your bio Actually, dog, not you. but not and you're like, I need it. But I really like that. Have you ever, have you ever bought both of you own bio dogs? Have you ever bought something that was supposed to be for them? You're like, that's nah, mine now. Fuck yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. Mm, I no, I went to pet. <laughs> She's like, I will <laughs> never do that. <laughs> I went to Petco looking for something for him, uh-huh. but, but found also, something for oh, me instead. Oh, so it's okay. a little different. Okay. It's a little different than being Because like... they ended up having a Star Wars line. Oh. oh. They did. So I had to get the Star Wars squeakies. Of course. I couldn't help myself. That's fair. So uh, those who know me know that I like pretty much all things spooky. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And mm-hmm. for the last decade and a half, I have been buying my bio dogs um Halloween, Halloween, yeah. Halloween <laughs> toys, like very explicitly, like I I do my restock it at Halloween October, time. Yeah. So like they have spooky toys all year long. Um, and I bought Preston a pumpkin. The pumpkin, uh-huh. the pu- yes. it's a pumpkin, but it's got three or two holes cut in it, it's, and it's got bats nice. on the inside. Right, it came I, with three. They're, they're little hide and seek ones. Uh-huh. Yeah. yeah, so. Uh, it comes with three, but uh-huh. Preston doesn't know that. He thinks it only came with two. Oh, somebody else got <laughs> one of those. One of those? Yeah. It was very close to only coming with one because the kitty meme was like, it's small and roundish oh and God. I want to play with it. <laughs> also, uh, I have part of a cheese toy. Yeah. Oh, the wheel right. of cheese. That's right. I kept the like the portion and I gave him. Your boy has, gets a bark box for himself. He does not own a Fuck dog. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, why not? We and get so all of the benefits. And of some it. of the toys that he doesn't want after he's given uh given given you first pick, he'll come and be like, Does uh your boy or your actual bulldog want one of these? <laughs> That's how Max got his wine bottle. bottle. His wine bottle, because my Spielzeug had the whiskey bottle. It's like, mm-hmm. it's a real I water. Bought the you whiskey bought the whiskey bottle. bottle. Yeah. It's got like a, a, a water bottle, an actual water. So it has a crinkly sound. Mm-hmm. It has a crinkly sound. He likes it a lot. But Magnus really, mm-hmm. really wanted to partake in that as well. So then yeah. the wine bottle came into our lives. And right. it's, it's all cute. good now. Yeah. Everybody right. Um, I will say trying to find accessories or other gear. Because hoods tend to be fairly gender neutral mm-hmm. in the shape like minus your little head 
<laughs> just because, well, actually, you no. Just don't mention mine it. Is, <laughs> mine is normal size. Okay. The difference is that the straps, the oh, Velcro, yeah. are very, very long. Oh, and so okay. I just had to pull it past where it was the tightest it was to get it to stay. Well, but yeah. they're made to be cut. No, I believe, I believe you. you. I believe yeah. you. <laughs> <laughs> Look, I have a child's head. I know. I make up for it in my waistline. Right. Come on. <laughs> um, so I will say this is not sponsored, though you totally should sponsor us. Right. <laughs> Rough Stuff. Yes. Oh, okay, there you go. It's a UK-based um, company. And my alpha was saying that years ago they did not, but now they have, you know, you go on to the other sites, Mr. S and things like that, one, you're only going to see male no bodies. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And two, you can get a hood, but don't look for t-shirts or yeah. shorts or anything else. That you would wear while in pup yeah. mode because yeah. presumably you're not wearing a ball gown. I guess you could, but it's a little hard to move in. Mm-hmm. Uh, life goals for me. A little um, hard to, you can be, but a little I will hard be to a corgi in a ball gown. No, it you can, but I'm saying not movement. practical. Um, Doable. Not but I will say that Rough Stuff was awesome to work with. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. They have, their female line is not as extensive as their male line. But it exists. It exists. Which right. is a huge thing. It exists. It's huge. And so I actually. I had been wanting a hood for a really long time and kept like, I don't know, like seesawing and stuff. And then I finally found a design that I really liked. And Mm -hmm. I was like, ooh. Mm -hmm. And the cool thing is they actually will print the hood designs custom. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Like color and stuff like that. Because I got a neoprene hood. Mm -hmm. Right. So I got to pick the colors. So it looks like the corgi in my head. Great. Right. Um, Your pup sona, as it were. Yeah, my pup sona. Um, and I was really excited to have one that really reflected that because corgis don't have that boxy square face to they them. They don't look like a Doberman. No. Right. right. Well, they look more like a Doberman and than they, they do, like, do a like a boxer. Right. <laughs> um, so one that was really cool. And it didn't affect the price oh, to, to do it with the custom colors. But then I was also able to get, which I was sh- like shook, I was able to get boy shorts that have... Like a booty, fluffy butt on it, cool. and I can get those printed the same way. Corgi so butt. like That's my awesome. corgi ass matches my corgi face. Hey, love it. And then they had um, they call them swimsuits, mm-hmm. right. and they are made of swimsuit like material, um, but they're basically singlets, singlet like or onesie. Because when I think bathing suit, I think of more like the hip cut up. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Like, got little shorts. No, these are like. Like a, like a triathlon onesie. Kind yeah, of. it's like okay. triathlon. Okay. It's a high waist, but my, my boobs don't hang out. But Important. I could, and it so is also <laughs> printed in my corgi's colors. Right. So okay. I was able to get awesome. like. Yeah, you can get like the full body look as well. I like that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I That's was very cool. The fact that I could and that it wasn't the, the like the women's. Yeah. Uh, bathing suit compared to the guy's singlet yeah mm-hmm. like there wasn't a pink tax nice. right oh thank no goodness. there wasn't it a wasn't pink extra tax. it was not extra yeah. no the shorts were about the same price as the underwear for the guys nice yeah. perfect oh. i was like oh hey. holy shit like i'm, I'm not, not used penalized. to this i know I'm, I'm not used to being uh penalized for, for being a woman right <laughs> right yeah i mean shit yeah because mm. i was going to say of the of the two other Female bodied pups, I know one of them also has their stuff from uh, Rough Stuff. Speaking of pups, Preston. Magnus would really like to join us for the discussion. He has right. many opinions um, on uh, being a puppy. Yeah. So, like, that was fun. And you mentioned it a little bit, but what other types of gear do you really see for pups aside from like hoods and tail? Because those, I think, are the mo- two most common that we see for pups. Like, are there things outside of kind of like that and then like the shorts, or is it more just. I keep seeing more and more. Um, things I've now seen socks oh. that have the toe like, yeah, puppy paw the prints puppy paws. on them. The kitty paw. She's got kitty, kitty paws. She's got kitty paw socks. I want the thigh highs with the three D printed toe beans. Right. <laughs> exactly. It's like squishy. yeah. So I've seen but it's socks now. Okay, I guess I know. Right. So you get socks. I've seen shoes now. Like um, they kind of look like water shoes. Okay. Yeah. Um, but they have paws on them, and so they're super cute. I see uh, a lot. I mean, harnesses are al- already really big in the gay leather community. Yeah. Yeah. But I see a lot of people getting specifically, like, Pup- more bulldog pup-style harnesses. Gotcha. Yeah. 
talking about. And I, and I see a lot more female colors, lighter colors. Um, Less kind of severe looking, maybe a little right. bit. Right. Like the option. Yeah. You know, I, uh, for a long time, it was just a whole lot of black. Yeah. Right? There was yeah. a lot of options on yeah. colors. Right. There's a lot more color options. And um, I know I worked with Go Bear for mm-hmm. my harness yep. because, so they do good again, work. I am just femme enough to be a pain in the ass. <laughs> I also just love anything custom. I also had a... I didn't use Go Bear, but I, I used someone else to do my, my custom leather harness. And I was oh, like, look, so I need to look like a queen. All right. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I need a harness. Your strap-on harness? No, no. My oh, neck, that one's but, gorgeous. That one's <laughs> I love that one. <laughs> that one came from Finland. Uh, they're a good friend. Uh, but uh, the, no, the other one, like the harness oh, yeah, yeah. comes oh, here. It's so got a ring is. around the breast here and it, and it frames. And I, you know I mean? It takes time and it's an investment piece but I was like high necked and that kind of like mm-hmm. it's gonna look great on a birthday gown yeah <laughs> yeah I ended up working with him because I wanted a harness I wanted something that was kind of sort of bulldog ish right but again titties. with titties it's a problem because like yeah. they Our just don't are not shaped like you know not everyone is shaped the same and, and you know if you have like bodies like ours we got curves in interesting places that a lot of these male pups just don't fucking have. Right. And I wanted some extra features. Like, I wanted to be able to clip my safety tool to it and things Important. like that. So I got, since the I do rings. ropes and things like that. Um, but, yeah, I worked to get a custom harness that really, truly fit me comfortably as opposed to just one off. The, not knocking the off the racks. They're gorgeous. Mm-hmm. But getting one that was actually made for a female body. Yeah. Yeah. It's nice. Yeah. yeah. It's nice. Now, mine came off the rack, but I had to try on multiples. Right. Before I found one that was comfortable that I was like, okay, yeah. This one's... Well, because I might have the, the shoulder or chest measurement, but I have breasts, so right. it is going to sit Pushes out a little it's bit. It's going right. to sit I was afraid that, like, the traditional ones would end up coming up here it's and, really, like, yeah. cho- feel yeah. like I'm being choked because yeah. they would sit so high. Because when I do wear a bra, right. it defies gravity and yeah. I have a giant shelf. Right. Like, right. It, if... Yeah. if you know, my boy and I have a similar waist measurement. We cannot really wear the same pants, though. They look very different. Mm-hmm. They look very different. I forgot to bring the corsets for him. I'm Dang like, it! Aww. Next time. Next, yeah. Next, next time. time. I'm going to put him in corsets. Yeah. Very yeah. nice. At my request. Yes. yes. Very nice. So or I'm going to let you do it, but I'm going to bring it and hopefully get to walk. That's right. Absolutely. <laughs> absolutely. absolutely. Yeah. Do you have any final thoughts for our guests this evening? Or do you want to take a stab at any of us since we have a... Uh, Put you on the spotlight all evening long. Let your sadist out. (laughs) Right. Or just your your rabid curiosity either. Hey. um, No, I guess just, you know, for everybody. You know, you you all are, you know, fan, fantastic and, oh. and wonderful. Um, but for everybody... Quick, pour another drink. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, don't worry, sweetheart. For everyone who is um, curious about puppies or critters in general, um, or even, you know, quote-unquote veterans of critter play and puppy play, just be inclusive. You do you. <laughs> yeah, be inclusive puppy has evolved in so many ways i think even just in the last few years it's currently evolving yeah Yeah. it's like a massive growing pain situation it's gone from you know puppies to introducing kitties and now i've seen monkeys and i've seen an owl and a land shark please reach out to us right i want the land shark exactly like it's it's evolved into you know critters of all kinds and you know i think that everybody just needs to take a step back and be more inclusive of everyone so yeah i feel like the end of the day we're all doing it for kind of the same fucking reason right like it's an escapism it's something we enjoy it's something that we can let loose and have fun with so just accept it right choose joy choose Choose joy joy. i like that i like that. that i think we should end on that yeah i feel like that's a good end (laughs) and remember (laughs) trouble comes in three and and get get fucked doggy style yeah